Hey guys, what is up? Simri here. Today's video will be a little bit different. Instead of exploring a particular theme of Roblox horror games, we'll be taking a look at a mixture of random, interesting Roblox horror games within the confines of this one video. So without further ado, let's begin. The first game we'll be looking at in this video is called Brownie, a horror game with a certainly interesting title that is developed by Vectormind, I think that's how you pronounce their name. In this game, you are a special employee of a company that works in regards to exterminating spirits and ghostly activities by using cameras as a way to combat the actions of the ghost. You must survive until 6am, the usual. So far there is only Act 1, where your first mission is at an old country house, where the owner and his family recently started noticing suspicious activities regarding household objects objects and electricity. Honestly, the game's design looks really promising by the looks of it. I loved every single aspect of it, especially the design of the house. It's pretty realistic, to be entirely honest with you, and you even got a realistic human hand instead of the usual blocky hands. The game starts off with a simple phone call from the owner of the house, informing you that most items from the house have been removed in order to make the job easier for you. The owner also warns you that the generator will go off from time to time, which requires you to turn it back on in order to keep things running. But yeah, that's about it. Nothing much other than that and that's also when the horrors start so yeah this camera you're holding is what you'll be using against the anomalies all you have to do is left click on an object that is experiencing some sort of weird activity in order to stop the anomaly if there are too many anomalies present the demon or brownie will spawn and try to kill you yeah you'll also be able to notice it just like peeking from the corners of the walls so try to be quick and memorize what is where, what noise is being made, and all that so you can quickly neutralize the threat instead of running around cluelessly like me and getting pranked by the demon. Wait. Oh! Wait, what? Also, if you haven't noticed, you can collect these elves sitting on the shelves. Yeah, you know, elf on a shelf type thing, Christmas, whatever. Apparently it gives you some sort of Christmas skin according to the badge. But yeah, overall that's the main gist of the game. That was an anomaly? Oh, okay, so it's just stuff playing, I guess. What was that on the TV? Oh, okay, okay. So basically, I just gotta look around for like, um, I don't know, strange noises, strange deformation of pictures, question mark. Uh, what in the world? Who keeps pranking? Hey, stop, stop, stop pranking. Not funny. Not funny. I'm so, oh god, I'm not used to this. Uh, there's so many things going on, kinda. Okay, there's too many anomalies. Nah, not on my watch. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. What am I missing? Okay, there's something open here. That's the generator. I'm so stupid. stupid. What is wrong with me? Right, there's a bathroom here. I didn't even notice. This should not be on. It's, it's dark here. I don't like it. There we go. Bro, this, this ghost is such a troll. Wait, what, 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 I've seen this woman in my dreams before. Oh my god, I'm messing up, hold on. Whether you win or you lose, you will get the same ending screen of the camera slowly zooming towards the back of Brownie and a quick thank you from the developer for playing the game. First off, why does he look like an anglerfish without the, the light part, the light bulb on the head? Yo, that game, that wasn't bad though. I actually kind of like that. The freaking picture taken and all that. It was a bit overwhelming because um, I didn't know what I was doing, but now that I have like a full idea of what I need to look out for and do, I'm pretty sure I could, you know, Clap this, clap this monster, send him out the freaking space. Nope, not today, not today. <laughs> Was that the TV? Can't turn it on. Wait, what? Wait. Oh. Wait, what? It actually appears? 
angler fish looking ass. Oh, what was that? What was it, wasn't it? Okay, I think there was an elf in here that I didn't. There we go. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Bro, oh, this darn TV. What? How fast do I have to be? Am I really that slow? The next game is called Undercall by RH Experimentations. This game revolves around the player being placed in an abandoned complex with several tasks needing to be completed before you are allowed to open the massive industrial door and escape. And of course, there's something they're trying to eat you alive. I say this, but I never thought about like whether they actually eat you or just simply kill you as a way to satiate their homicidal tendencies. But anyway. Why am I bald? Oh wait, it's for the thumbnail for the previous video. I forgot to put the accessories back on. There are three phases that you have to complete in order to open the exit door. The first phase of the game involves you finding three fuel canisters, loading them into three different generators and turning on the three generators. Wait, there's something. Shoot. Oh, close the door. What in the world? Okay, this game reminds me so so much of like that one horror game, Peta Peta or something. Okay, so we got one caster so far. No casters in here. Um. Okay, there's one here. I want to see what it looks like. Oh my god, that is one ugly looking bastard. Okay, there we go. The last one. Is there a door in front? Okay. I feel like I should hide in here before making my way to the generators. I'm not sure if the uh, hallway loops around or what. Alright, fuel that up. That's one. Wait, hold on. You and turn on. Also, oh, you have to wait. Wait, did I turn it on? What? Okay, wait, wait, it's coming. So I actually need to turn on the other one further behind because I didn't. So I'm gonna have to run back real quick after turning this one on. There. Okay. So I think I could just run back now. Turn that on. Where's the uh, creature, the uh, monster, the uh, ugly bastard? There we go. The second phase requires you to flip levers located around the complex, collect three tokens from open metal doors, and then insert them into the slots at the exit door accordingly. Wait, what lever do I have to- oh! Collect tokens from metal doors. Okay, that's three. Now the tokens. Shoot. Come on. Come on. Close that damn thing. Ah! Yeah, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Oh! Okay. Where else can I find? He's uh Hello. Huh. Alright. Okay there. There's the last one. What do we insert into the uh metal door? Exit door? Right? Yeah, okay. Um this is probably faith. Yeah, it's the cross. Oh liberty. Oh it literally oh says God. it, so I don't know. <laughs> probably not safe to be standing out here, but uh I'ma do it anyway. Because I'm crazy like that. The third phase is just finding three valves scattered around the floors of the complex, installing them onto the big pipes, and then turning the valves a couple of times. Yeah, don't forget to do that. I, I forgot. Holy crap. 
It sounds faster as well. That is freaking mad. That is... I don't know if it's faster or I'm just crazy right now. Okay, alright. What is this? Holy water. Wait, can I use it on the monster? I don't know. I don't know if that's how it works. Or do we use it on something else? Hmm. Alright, install that. I still need to find one more valve. We have to spin it too. Oh, there it is. I right, grab that. I am the fastest man alive. Look at me install these valves. I think it almost made contact with me. Okay, turn. Is that's it, no? Oh my god, wait, how many times do I have to turn it? I didn't realize, I thought I turned them all, but no, you have to turn it a couple of times. After doing all of that, you should be able to escape. Shit, yeah, the door's broken. Whoops. Yeah, but do not fear since the box is literally right there. You just, you know, just do some quick repairs. Don't forget though that you're still being chased by the big monster blob thingy. Which is now much faster than before, so you really gotta listen out for its movements this time. But yeah, after you're done repairing, you're free to leave. Enter the elevator, pull the lever, and that's that. Barton of Ban Ban looking ass, freaking elevator, I don't know. A pretty good game, I'd say. It's not difficult. It's also not easy. It's in the middle. Actually, it's quite, quite easy. It, it, yeah, it's quite easy. Not filled with jump scares, unless you get caught, I'm pretty sure. Has a relatively dark atmosphere, which obviously fits the theme and pretty good gameplay. The items are not too hard to find, but you still have to look around. I like it. Let's move on to the last game. <laughs> the Insane. Huh? Now hear me out, you guys might be thinking, Sinvi, wh 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 what is this? Yo, nah, this game is actually not bad. So this game is created by this uh, group called Mental Inc. And yeah, this game's actually not bad. You play as an agent hired by the government to clear out the building, which is crowded with hostile prisoners. What the? Whoa. Yeah, what do you got? Also, I just gotta say, these prisoners are freaking vicious as hell. I think they're more like zombies than anything else, or like cannibals. Like, I don't freaking know. Like, I, I don't know. Well, to be fair, it is a secret bunker, probably owned by the government itself. So they're probably doing some, you know, freaking experiment, whatever, you know, whatever they do. But yeah, there's some lore and stuff here and there. Though I didn't like explore the whole thing because I didn't play to the end. But there are some pretty good moments here and there. I just sit here and there twice. But you know what? Just uh, enjoy the gameplay. Oh wait, I was in the game this entire time. I just had to turn on the flashlight. Okay, alright. We have a knife. And we got a- what the flip is that? Bro, what the- what, what? I know you guys were not expecting this. I, I wasn't either. I just kinda- What the- Whoa! Yeah, what you got? What are you gonna do, huh? Get back up, bitch. Get up. Get up. Throw hands. Oh my gosh, shit. I actually let it go back up. Wait, I ran out of ammo. What's this? Wait, I just stabbed myself with something. Dude, it's punching me. Wait, is this some this is a mental asylum prison? I'm just killing all the mentally ill. What the heck is this game? What? <laughs> what am I playing? Keep calm and work hard. That did not sound like it went well. Not gonna lie for these guys. There's blood everywhere, but there's no body. Wait, he's stuck. It's stuck. Oh my god. Skull emoji. Wait, you can search the dead body. Right. Who the heck is laughing? From the vents? Come on. Yeah, two taps to the head and you're dead. Who's breathing? <laughs> Oh my god, I've, I've been, I've, I've, I've mic fallen. <laughs> Even the flat and I was confused, like, what? I've been, I've, 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 Okay, toxic chemical room. I think this is where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Face the wrath of um, my professional um, killing skill or something. Wait, I got Robert's key card. Who the heck is Robert? Uh, probably this guy, right? Guys, I know this is like the dining area, but you're dining on the wrong things. You're not meant to dine on humans. 
Where, where the freaking... I'm not even gonna ask. Salad. Ooh, can I wear this? Body armor. Yes. That's it. How do I use it? Ooh, okay, so... Now, this game is not bad, I'll be honest. It's not bad. It'll be better, but it's not bad, okay. This one's off. Oh, which lever on? I think I, I, think I may have just turned something on. <laughs> okay, what's this? What's this? This just, this just turned into Five Nights at Freddy's. What do I do? Huh, we got a new gun. What well, weapon parts? How do I progress? But who the fuck are you? Oh, I can hear something. <laughs> that guy was running away, he's deciding we should I dip or should I help my friend? Ah, more servers. There's a notebook. Alright, Robert seems to be a character who is pretty relevant uh, relevant here. First day on the job. Mega server is operational. The reactor is operational. Offices are operational. Everything seems to work. Nice. My co-workers aren't any fun because they don't like puns. Mega service is operational. The reactor is operational. Okay, everything is operational. Seems that my boss is cutting our pay for some reason. Huh. Everything is operational. Okay. Offices are slightly operational. Something's wrong here and now. Almost everything is working half the time. Mega server is half operational. Reactor is half. Okay, reactor is operational. Offices are half operational. Everything is literally not working. I'm going to quit right now if we can't fix this. If I don't get out, please take care of my daughter. Whoever reads this, Robert. He did not get out in time. I don't think he got out in time. Maybe he got out in time. Who knows? Maybe he's going to be some like old professor that we meet in like the later levels. But yeah, Robert's probably going to grow like a long ass beard right now. Like it's going to be gray. Oh, wait. No, we have the key to this. There we go. Answer that key card. Hello? No. Oh. I did that match it. What can we get from here? So what should I rob first? This flash drive allows us to override the login system and go straight into the three firewalls in our PCs. These are the instructions to use it. Insert flash drive into the left side of the monitor and click on the monitor to type. Green text will show up. It might seem like a bunch of letters, but you must unscramble the letters into the word and press enter. Once the word has been unscrambled, press enter. You have unlimited tries. You're welcome. So try as many times as you like. Hopefully someone can put a stop to all this madness. But it seems like Robert is a hero here um he knows what's going on behind this wherever is going on here and he's trying to put a stop to it which is pretty cool respect to robert are you alive though All right insert that flash drive i don't have it there we go i have it now boom egg egg right Oh, okay. That makes sense. A few moments later. Mm -hmm. All right. What is this? This is just some files. Notepad. Oh man. Cyrus just gave me a radio. Apparently he made the music in the radio. It only plays one song though. But hey, there's like no music variety out there. Only a, only elevator music, which I hate now. Something is wrong. I have a feeling this facility will become something that none of us will be able to handle. I need to make something just in case this facility goes down and crashes. Possibly. Daily maintenance on mega server. Check the employees work in here. Check on reactor that it is spill free. And check on Ashley every weekend Friday too. Profit? Probably. Not. Um, okay, so I guess Ashley is the name of Robert's daughter that he's been talking about. Oh, wait, no. These are actually emails too. Dear Ashley, I'm sorry I can't make your birthday party. I have to still work in the bunker. I know I promised to give you euthanasia, euthanasia huh? as your present. What is that? But I don't think it's safe for you. I promise I will give you a present tomorrow when I get off work. Hello, Mr. Lachlan. Your daughter has been diagnosed with severe depression and seems to not want to interact with anyone except me and you and your and her mother. I advise to keep her in her room for a bit and watch over her. Dr. Lobs. All right, so that's that. Don't really know what to make much of it, but... Wait, it's running. Wait. Okay, no. It's just different 
sound effects, nothing much, same creatures. You know, this game's actually not too good. What the fuck? Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, 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 what the fuck are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? No way. You can't, I can't buy him. So that's it for this video guys. I know it's a little different, but it's really not that different at the same time. I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. And if you did end up enjoying the video and want to see more content like this, then make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so whenever I upload a brand new video, you'll be notified. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye.